Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing this nice warm with blue liner look. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but I'll figure it out. Um, I didn't do an intro last time because I'm new to YouTube and some of my lighting is going to be bad in this video just because I was playing around, but hopefully next video it'll be better. Uh, I hope you guys like it. Um, so let's start the video. Alright guys, so I already applied this to my lid, but this is the shade Bay from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, and underneath that I used the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer for both eyes. I already did my right, off, right eye off camera, so it'll be faster. I'm using the Juvia's Place Sahara Palette. I'm using the shade Katsunia with the brush from BH Cosmetics in the number 101, and I'll be applying that directly in my crease majority of the product will be placed on the outer part of my crease and then whatever's left on the brush will be distributed in the middle of my eye. Well, I'm using big words. This is weird. You never want to put a lot of product in the middle of your eye just because you don't want to look angry. Next, I'm taking the shade Sokoto. And I'm taking the a new BH Cosmetic brush in this number three, and that came in a travel pack. I'll link that down below. I'm just buffing that right onto my crease, right on top of Katsunia. Next, I'm taking the color Jamila, and I'm applying that with the same BH Cosmetic brush right on top of those other two colors. And then I'm going in with the Morphe brush that I got, an 18 pack brush set. I don't know if Morphe still has it, but I will look for it on their website. And I'm applying the shades Zoya and Lulu right on the lid. This is my go-to palette at the moment. I'm obsessed with it. Next, I'm taking the shade I'm in on an e.l.f. concealer brush and putting that on my inner corners and on my brow bone. I really love this brush. It was like a dollar or two dollars or something like that. And it's like the perfect brush to apply your inner corner highlight. And the shade, this icy white shade is so beautiful. I'm taking an E23 brush from Morphe and just blending out those crease shades. Off camera, I did prep my skin already with the Murad Sensitive Serum in the Kills Ultra Moisturizing Lotion. Blend, blend, blend. <laughs> Next, I'm taking the NYX or the NYX liquid liner in extreme blue and applying that for a cat eye. I really love this product. It uh, It's not streaky at all. It applies really smooth. You have to make sure you don't put too much product on the bristles though because it can get crazy. And the bristles at the end are really movable which I was afraid to do a cat eye but it turns out that it's like the perfect bristle length to like have a sharp fierce cat eye. And I'm going to be taking my time because I'm a perfectionist, probably like you are, whoever's watching this, and making sure my lines are nice and straight and crisp. Next, I'll be taking the Givenchy Mr. Matte Primer and applying that to my T-zone because the girl is super oily, especially since I live in Arizona. Applying primer is like my favorite part of the makeup because, I don't know, I just like massaging my face for some reason. I know it's weird. 
And next I'll be taking the Becca Backlighting Primer all over the outer parts of my face. I like this primer because it gives it like a nice subtle glow and helps the makeup stick so much longer. Here comes my weird faces. I never realized I made weird faces until I started making videos. Next I'll be taking the Tarte Color Correcting Cream in the shade Light Medium and using my finger and dabbing that underneath my eye. Next, I'll be taking the LA Girl HD Foundation in the shade Fair and applying my pumps to that metal plate thing. It's really good if you're really trying to be hygienic and not cause as many pimples. And I used a damp Real Technique brush and I'm applying that all over my face. This is going to take me a minute because I like to make sure I clean up my eyeshadow and it's all blended out. I know this foundation makes me look like I'm super white, but it does oxidize just a tad, and it ends up being my shade at the end. You'll see. Alright, so I'm going to be blending out under my eyes again, just to make sure there's no creases, and then applying the Air Spun Translucent Powder on a dry Real Technique sponge all over my under eyes and along my nose and my forehead. Next, I'll be taking the Cover FX Pressed Powder in Light and setting my entire face because I'm going to a baby shower or, or later that day and I didn't want my face to melt off even though it kind of did but this pressed powder saved the day so I'm going to make it blasting. Next, I'm taking the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soule Matte Bronzer in the shade Light Medium on a Morphe M527 and applying that where bronzer should go. Get rid of that double chin. And then next, I'll be going in with the Smashbox Contour Kit in the shade Contour and applying that to the higher points of my cheeks. You don't really want to bring that down too far in the middle of your cheeks because it will look super muddy and you do not like that. I'm also applying that shade on my forehead and next I'll be going in with the Jeffree Star Skin Frost in Peach Goddess on a M438 Morphe brush. I'm obsessed with the Skin Frost. If you're really looking for a good highlighter worth the money, this is definitely it. And I'm taking that on the high points of my face, my forehead, my nose, and my lips. Next, I'll be taking the NARS blush in Super Orgasm and applying that in between the contour, bronzer, and highlight on the high points of my cheeks. I just like this because I feel like it gives it a nice subtle glow. I don't know if this really isn't a natural look, but it's natural for me.
Now I'm taking that dry real technique sponge and applying the air sponge translucent powder to chisel out those cheekbones. And then I'll be taking a BH Cosmetics brush in the number three and just dusting that off. And then I'll be applying Katsumiya on a BH Cosmetic brush in the number 103, directly on the lower lash line. Next, I'm taking the Smack Eyeliner Flat Brush in the shade Sokoto and Jamila and applying that directly on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to be taking the shade Coco from the Huda Beauty palette on a BH Cosmetics brush in the number 105 and applying that just on the outer part of my lash line and the outer part of my crease just to add a little bit of dimension just because they are kind of in the same shade family you don't want them just to blend all together you want them to stand out on their own and i'll be taking that on a bh cosmetics brush in the number 101 and doing light feather strokes upwards and i'm just taking that bh cosmetics brush in the number three and dusting off that translucent powder under my eyes And now for the very long and good part, I guess, I am going to be taking the Benefit Precisely Brow in shade number four and just filling in my brows. It is such a process for me. I, my inner corners by my nose are very sparse, so I have to kind of draw those in. This is like the longest process for me. I'm always experimenting with my shape. I don't know if I like it right now, but it does work with my face at the moment, so... I'll just keep doing the shape for now. <laughs> As you can see, I check it, make sure it's blended. It looks like an actual eyebrow, because you don't want it to look like a Lego or a brick. That look and not cute, okay? Off camera, I did apply my setting spray, my lashes, and my lip. So uh, I will tell you that right now. I use the Urban Decay Dislick Setting Spray. I use the Anastasia Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick. And then I use the House of Lashes Iconic Light Lashes and the Duo, um, the Duo Lash Glue. I don't know which one it is. It's the orange one, the one that's in the orange box. And next, I will be taking the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to set those bad boys in place. But I do need to go get them waxed because they are some burn beast right now. This completes my look. I did my lashes and my lip and set in my face off camera. Got ready. I'm going to a baby shower later today. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe if you do like it. Let me know if there's anything you want to see or have any questions. I'll comment down below with you guys. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a good day, guys. <laughs>